Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Imperial. I'm an architect in Anchorage, Alaska. Today, I wanna to share to you guys my tech travel backpack. So I'm going to share to you guys two ways I pack this backpack. The first one is a little bit more minimalistic. This is where I go somewhere and I don't really expect to work as much. And the second one is when I'm expecting to work a little bit more than I would like. But before all that, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes for lifelong learners who's ready to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare has a wide range of classes, including graphic design, film and video, productivity, and more. When I was trying to improve my YouTube videos, I wanted to learn more about color grading and in taking the Skillshare class by Eric really helped me develop my own style. The best thing about these classes is you can find a class that fits your skill level and most importantly, your schedule. Since learning is the focus of Skillshare, their videos contain no ads, which means you can stay focused and explore where your creativity takes you. Only at $10 a month for an annual subscription, this is one of the best investments you can make for yourself. The first 1,000 people who click the link in the description will get a free premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So the first thing we need to talk about is the backpack. And I have this Prima system from Boundary. It's a 25 liter backpack and I love the way it looks. It's kind of like minimalistic, modern, rugged kind of feel to it. I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but I've taken this in a lot of places and I don't know if you guys can see it, but it holds up pretty well. It actually have this side pocket right here. There's a camera bag that you can attach and every time you open it, you can have quick access to your camera. Um, I like it, but I think that the belt strap that you use for the sling is not the most comfortable material ever. So I haven't been using this as much. I actually have been putting in the a Peak Design 5 liter as my camera bag. And I find that I can fit more stuff in there and it feels more secure. But the fact that you have a modular camera bag that you can attach in the whole backpack, I think is pretty cool. The other thing that this Prima system has is this kind of folio thing where you have a spot for you maybe a small laptop or a tablet. And I've gone out with just this, maybe meetings with clients and I just carry it and it looks pretty professional. You can put your pens and chargers and all that, whatever knickknacks you have. So this is my backpack of choice, the Prima system. Um, this is not a full intensive backpack review. I love it, you can check it out for yourself. I'll put the links in the description below in case you want to check it out. The next thing in my tech and travel backpack is the AirPods Max and I have it in this Waterfield Shield case. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is the case Apple should have created. I love that it offers a lot of protection for your AirPods Max. It has an interior lining that's super soft and it sure won't scratch your AirPods Max. You can put in your charger there, cable, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and it just looks really good. They offer it in a leather case, which is what I have right now and they also have a nylon version. I was able to finally travel with the AirPods Max and on the plane, it works really well. I love the ease of use when you're switching to the noise canceling and the transparency mode. You know, when there's the PA announcement, you can easily just click one button and instead of it saying noise canceling mode or transparency mode, it just automatically switches and there's no delay in the switching which is a big thing when you wanna hear those announcements. And the noise canceling just works perfectly. I couldn't hear any of the noise inside the plane. I could focus on the movie I'm watching and I can enjoy the songs I'm listening to really, really well. The AirPods Max has really been a good travel companion and I'm really glad that I have it with me when I travel. The next item I have on my backpack is this Orbit Key Nest. I love this thing because I'm able to put a lot of my essential tech in it and I don't have to fumble around. And I know that if I bring this, I have almost everything I'll need. So inside I have my Aki 7-in-1 USB-C hub so that I can transfer files from my memory card. I have my AirPods Pros and I also have this one terabyte SSD which holds 
all of my active architecture projects and also all of my active um, YouTube projects. I also have this 128 gig flash drive just for good measure. And the other thing I like about this is this top part, let me show you guys. This top part right here is actually a wireless charger. You can actually set your phone here and it'll charge. I know I'll be carrying this anyway, because not only does it protect my stuff, but it kind of keeps it organized. But the fact that it has that wireless charger is a big bonus. And I thought it's pretty cool. So when I'm traveling minimally, I love to bring my GoPro Hero 9. Um, this is my camera of choice when I'm vlogging, I guess. If you guys don't know, I actually have a second channel with my wife where we do challenges and just have a lot of fun recording our life together. So vlogging with the GoPro Hero 9 has been easier because it has that screen in front. You can see if you're centered, you can see if what you're pointing to is in the frame. And I love that it's so compact and little and I don't really like filming on my phone it just feels a little bit more awkward filming with the phone because you know you're holding it people are seeing you and it's just a little bit bigger and it draws more attention and I, I don't know how i feel about that yeah i have this gopro hero 9 and this pg white tech mini tripod which is the best tripod i think for the gopro hero 9 because not only does it act as a shorty selfie stick right but you can actually extend it up to as much as that and you know you can let it be your selfie stick change the angle selfie stick right and the fact that you can actually have it propped up and use it as a stand so if you're trying to do a time lapse if you're trying to take a group photo or a group video that's a good way to use it. So when I'm traveling, I like to bring this Aki charger. It's 65 watts and it has two um, ports, which is important because I find myself charging at max about two devices at a time. So this solves that problem. I don't have to carry multiple you know, power bricks. And if I do want to charge and I know that my consumption is gonna be a little bit higher, I bring this three port charger from Aki as well and it's 90 watts it can charge most laptops out there and it just gives you a little bit less carry which is always nice especially when you're trying to pack as light as you can and the last thing I have in my minimalistic travel tech backpack is my iPad Pro I've been using my iPad a lot more since 2019 not only for architecture, but also content creation. I love editing my photos here, videos, using LumaFusion. If you're curious a little bit more about how I use my iPad, go ahead and watch this video right here. But for the most part, I download movies on it when I'm traveling. I also get to access a lot of the PDFs that I do on my architecture. So I get to look at them, redline them on the plane, and all of that. Actually, I'll insert a photo right here of when I traveled last. And as you can see, that's just me sketching on the plane. And since I have this moth case, which I think is a perfect accessory for travel, and moth might not be thinking of this use, but aside from the fact that, of course, you can use it as a stand, right? And you can lift it up. This is the float case for the iPad Pro, and you can lift it up like so, right? This is my favorite use of it when traveling. The fact that you have this legs means you can actually insert this thing to where all the cards and safety information is, and you can kind of have it hooked right like that. Actually, let me insert this photo right here, which kind of shows you a little bit about how I was able to do that. So this actually puts the screen more eye level than you would have if you folded the tray and then lifted this up and did all of that. You know, that works, but having it a little bit higher actually works perfectly, and I love that. And of course, I have my Apple Pencil when I need to sketch, draw, and all of that. So now we're starting to move over into the more work-focused tech travel backpack. Um, like I said earlier, I ditched the camera bag that comes with the Boundary Prima system because, like I said, it's not as comfortable because of the strap. So I've been using this Peak Design 5 liter, 
which is perfect because I can fit my camera, the A6600, bring two of my lenses, maybe even put my sunglasses in here. Or sometimes if I want to bring the iPad, I can also fit in here because it has this sleeve in the back which is also super good. It's also a perfect companion for my drone. I actually haven't flown my drone in a while, um, just haven't been out. But if I choose to, I can have my drone in here and also the camera as well. Overall, it's just more comfortable. And if you guys know anything about the photo video world of gear, Peak Design is very well known and it's really comfortable, it looks good in my opinion. So this is something I would typically add if I'm expecting to maybe shoot, maybe even sometimes just have fun taking photos of my travels, right? Another thing that I like to bring with me is the Joby tripod. I think this is the 5K version. I love it because it's durable and the ability to conform it to topography or even surfaces is amazing. It's just really convenient. It's just super nice to have because of how versatile it is. And it's definitely helped me in a lot of scenarios. And the last thing that I add to this tech travel backpack is my 16 inch MacBook Pro, as you can see right there. I typically try not to bring it because of the added weight, but sometimes I just have to because of maybe video editing for this channel or drafting for architecture projects. Most of the time I can get away with just an iPad, but there are just certain tasks that I can only do with my MacBook. And of course, when I'm drafting on my MacBook Pro, I need a mouse because <laughs> drafting on a trackpad just doesn't work. Don't do it. So I have this MX Anywhere 3, which is more compact than my MX Master 2S, and I don't want to bring something bulky. So that's basically it. If you guys find any of the products mentioned interesting, go ahead and check the links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.